Hi everybody. Um, obviously it's a little bit strange time. Um, we hardly are able to race or even go to the track. So I thought it might be nice to make a short video. And since I got a lot of questions about my heave dampers shown in one of the posts on Facebook, I thought it would be nice to explain you guys a little bit about the ideas and what it does and what it is. So first of all, I will try to explain a little bit about heave and roll. Basically, the car can have, or let's say in this case, the front end can have two movements, up and down with both sides going up and down the same amount. This movement is called heave. Um, the other movement uh, is roll. It, it's called roll because in that case, the chassis rolls. And this happens when the car is cornering. When you do a corner, it, it rolls to the outside. So basically, roll occurs in the corner and heave is when you hit a bump or you brake or accelerate and on the track these two movements happen at the same time in the conventional setup these movements are controlled by the two shocks and the two springs um, heave as you can see when when the suspension is compressed when you brake or hit a bump both shocks and both springs are compressed the same amount. And if the car corners, you see that in this case, the outside spring is compressed and the inside spring is getting unloaded. So the roll is basically controlled by the same springs that control the heave. And also the roll is controlled by the anti-roll bar. And here comes the funny thing about the heave damper. So, so I will put a heave damper in it. So a Serpent is uh, selling the sets for the front and for the rear heave sets. But you also can purchase just the levers, which in the front are these carbon levers and in the rear it's two aluminium levers so if you buy a set you get the, the levers and the shocks and the screws and everything but if you have like some shocks around you can also just buy the levers just make sure they are capable of the right stroke and have the right length okay here comes the same exact movement with the heave damper mounted. Now again, with heave, this is what is called a heave damper. With heave, when the car is hitting a bump or you brake, the heave damper is taking a lot of action. We still have the uh, standard dampers in here, doing a little bit of the action, but the heave damper is doing a lot. When the car makes rolls in the corner, in the corners, you see that the heave damper is doing nothing. And it's the same in the rear. The funny thing is that you can, with these three shocks, you can widen your setup window big time. Let's imagine you want really, really soft shocks for the roll, because that somehow makes the car better. You can put super thin oil in here and the heave temp damper will take care of when you hit a bump because otherwise it will be bouncing around a lot. Or you could put a third spring here, a very hard spring and softer here. And in that case, you still won't hit the ground, but you have a, a soft roll. So you can imagine all the possibilities and I'm sure you can make the car worse, but you can make, also make it better. And that's the, the goal with the heave dampers. And to be honest, 
I know maybe 20% now because I have just have no time to to go to the track. Our track just op opened two weeks ago. But I already found big improvements by just adding the shocks as shocks without springs. And I'm sure there is more to find. So that was basically the little video about the heave. And um, I will try to get more info. And as soon as I know, I will tell you guys. Keep safe.